problem for Australia. Somewhere where I feel they will miss a left arm spinner in the team. Top four teams to get to semis would be, of course, India. Very well balanced squad. We've got uh, quality batters, uh, very good fast bowling attack, and experienced spin bowling attack as well. Uh, a good fielding side. Now, overall, a fabulous package, I feel. Number two would be Australia. Again, a balanced team. There could be there could be a problem for Australia somewhere where I feel they will miss a left arm spinner in the team, given the conditions in India. Bowling first, left arm spinner may come into play, which they don't have, so they may miss. But it's still a, a well balanced team, so I see them going through to the semis. Uh, England again a very strong team. Uh, they bat deep. Uh, Bowling, uh, maybe not as strong as their batting, but they bat deep. So, England would be my third team and the fourth team would be New Zealand. They have always done well in World Championships. Uh, 2015, they were the finalists. 2019, also New Zealand played the finals. So, New Zealand, without any doubt. The way they have started in this tournament, it's, they've made a strong state. Again, there is no set formula as such. All depends on the playing surface. If the ball is skidding, then you want to go under the bat and try and keep the ball length as full as possible. If the ball is not coming onto the bat, then there is no need to go for Yorkers. Then you can still be bowling length balls and sometimes those slower ball bouncers where the ball is not coming on the bat and it becomes a little difficult. Ground dimensions also come into play. If there are uh, on the square of the wicket, if there are longer boundaries, then you can afford to bowl shortish, slow, slower balls, so slow bouncers, uh, where you know you don't batters don't get to use the pace of the ball. If the long, if the straight boundaries are longer, then you're going to try and keep the ball as full as possible and make batters hit in the V. So, so it depends the surface and the dimension of the ground. And who's batting? Possibly in 2003, our first match against the Netherlands, uh, we had scored something like 228 or 230, not, not a big total at all. And uh, that was a chaseable total. Uh, we, we bowled well and we, we got them out in I think 160, 170 or so. But that before that, uh, we were not batting that well. We had played against Natal, couple of practice matches. Natal team and the Natal A team. We lost against both the teams. We hadn't batted well. Uh, so, our batting confidence was, wasn't that great. And that first match, 228, 230 on the board, whatever that total was, uh, was a decent total we felt to defend against. Netherlands at that stage and we won that game and from there on things started changing slowly but before that in South Africa we played practice matches we had lost everything.